Hey, y'all. Hey. <coughs> we are <laughs> getting ready to feed. We what never, is this drawing blanks? We never plan this out, so we never know <coughs> who's going to talk first. And yeah, I'm like, we are should, you talking or am I? <laughs> we are talking. We. Um, so, anyway, we're getting ready to uh, feed the animals. All right. So, both of the goats are bred. We were questionable about Mara, but her um, she's starting to bag up. You can see she's doing about five weeks, four weeks, something like that. Yep. Tango's due on April 1st, and she's starting to really bag up. So I thought y'all might be, <laughs> I don't know if you want to see my goats for your ends, but there you go. Um, they're getting closer, so we have to get that kidding stall built because yes. definitely need to have that. Okay, we've got built again. They're... We've got to put the siding on the feed room and build a kidding stall. And yep. clean up some of this so we can build a kidding stall. Yep. But anyway, they're they're looking good. That's right. I'm excited. All right. Baby goats. And these steers on. are moving. Yep. So the steers leaned in here the other night <laughs> and got in the chaff hay, tore the bag open. Several of the bags, actually. Because they love the chaffee. Hey, y'all, talk to us about your favorite minerals for cattle. We've picked some minerals up the other day, but we want to make sure we're getting good, high quality. What are your favorite, high quality cattle minerals? And goat minerals. Just leave it in the comments. Yes. <laughs> Chuck's head. Yeah. You're looking a little goofy there. Look, I just touched her loin. LA. Yep. Their hair, they're starting to shed out. Their winter coats. Pepper's back there. Hey, you can see we've had the horses and the goats in this paddock here. Just this area, we have it cross fence. And the cows have been over there. Of course, it frosted, so the grass is a little bit um, brown right now. But you can see a defined line where we've had nobody back here except for we feed Pepper there. But you can see the defined line in the grass between that pasture and this pasture where the horses have been. Here, Pepper, you went out? She went back out. Come on. Wait, baby, don't bring her in. We're not her. Yet. Oh, never mind. I thought she'd been fed. Just kidding, Pepper. I thought Jack fed you already. No wonder she was so eager. Usually she's like, no, I'm eating the grass. That's why she's. There's grass. Hey, Pepper. Pepper, you need a bath. Is she grimy? Yeah, she just could stay in a bath. She's not too bad. Look, she's shedding out. You can see on her neck. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mara! There you go. Mara's like, wait. Hey, goaties. Do y'all like that feed better than y'all's? Y'all just want to eat everybody's feed, don't you? <laughs> Goats like we all the feed. We need to roll the out a round bale. Yep, the last one. We need to roll it out. Grab my gloves out of the van jack and we'll roll that thing out. Good Tango. She's like, wait! Maybe he They're has running, food. Running, she's arm. waddling. Yeah. She's bouncing her babies. She's a waddle. What do you think, Mara? Oh, you can't work. look that. That's not good for you. Mara. Are you the waddler? You made yep. a video? Hope Is that know. the Hope? Hi, Hopey. Hope likes to feed. <laughs> hey, you can video because I'm going to roll out. What are you going to do? Roll out. Yeah, roll out a peanut hay. Or not peanut hay. A round bill, whatever yeah, that is yeah. over there. The um, we need to feed chickens to let them out, too. We have to wait till Ruby finishes before we yeah. turn them loose. Yeah. She's. <laughs> we can go ahead and dump it while we. Do you we... want to give the goats a little bit of chaffe? Keep them happy? Yeah. They haven't had any. I can't get in there from out here now. I know. We boarded it up it's even more because they keep breaking in. Excuse me. First it was the goats, then it was the steers, and the horses were trying to get in there. What? Look at her. I know. She's she's crazy. She... Should we call her Bucket Head? Look. Hey, Bucket Head. <laughs> What is even, what was even in there? That was the goat feed. She's licking oh. it, but there's not really. There's a few morsels. The tango's like, wait, that's me. Hey, I need you to back up, Mars, so I can get this gator. Don't break your neck. Come on. In there, goofy goat. Yeah, be careful. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to get you some tasks. Goats is goofy. They are goofy. Goats is. Goaties. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell their voices from each other. I hear them. Mara is always more vocal than Tango and she's got much whinier <laughs> bleat than Tango does, doesn't she? Yeah. Tango has a more angry bleat. 
I was reading online, it was pretty funny, somebody was asking about um, the different breeds of goats and what they sound like, and somebody's like, you know, the Nigerian dwarfs have a cute little, like, ma, ma, like, what about Nubians, what do they sound like? And somebody said they sound like somebody who's been smoking for 40 years trying to scream at a metal concert. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> that's about right, though. Yep. We'll roll out this mm -hmm. round bale. You can do it manually by hand? Yeah. All right. Are you that tough? Well, you that well, strong and beastly? Only because I have to be. I know. I don't doubt you. That's the only way to get it out, really, because it's in that fence. I know. We'll leave this fence up. We got to clean up this field and pick up this manure and pile it for compost. Well, that would be too badly. The horses have made a mess. Girls jobs up ah. And they made one load, and then that <laughs> one got dumped over, and that's where it is. Yeah, we got to get that up. Yep. We had a busy couple of weeks around here. It's crazy out here. Uh, I think Kylie went back in the house, baby. I think she's on the front porch. Y'all get ready. We have to leave as soon as we're done feeding. We got to go. Pick up peanut hay, baby. Huh? A lot of good it did to cover this one. Yeah. Well, the tarp was great until the steer ripped a giant hole in it trying to get to the hay. Where? Watch out, yeah. Pick this up, maybe. Where? Right here. A little garter snake. Here, I can't see. See him right here? Ooh. Okay. Eee. Hang on, Jack. I'm not sure if it's a garter snake. Yeah, don't touch it. It might be a... It's looking a little angry. Y'all back off. You're I scaring me. That. Huh? I don't think it's a garter snake. What is it? I don't know yet. I'm zooming in on it. I'm trying to. It's too fat. I think it's a garter snake. Don't mess with it, Jack. Hang on. Ooh, it's coming this way. Hey! What is it? It was not happy. Look, you're no Steve Irwin. You better watch out. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to see if he's got fangs. It looked like it to me from here. He just bit himself. Good. Hopefully he poisoned himself. I Ooh. thought it was a garter snake, but now I'm not sure. Is it a... What is it? I don't know. It's not a pygmy rattler. It doesn't have a rattle. Is it a cotton mouth? Don't get bit, babe. I'm not. What if you hold it right behind the head? Oh, my Lord. Yeah. I'm staying. It's sticking pranks off it gently. Ooh. Jacob, stay there. I don't want Jacob to see y'all messing with it because he's very much like... All right. I don't really know. Normally I know what snakes are, but... It's got a white belly. Yep. Stay here, Jakey. The fence will get you. Hmm. Hey, Jakey. Um, so we are going to go see the pigs actually <laughs> see if the pigs actually need feed. We were feeding them a rationed amount every day, um, but since they're in such a dry lot, they don't have much to eat up there, and they're growing a little bit slower than we like. So we decided to, we were watching the Pratt um, Pratt Family Homestead, and they did a experiment with their pigs. And they were talking about how fast they grew out, and they've been free feeding and things. And so we got to thinking about it, and. Um, we decided we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see if we can grow out faster. Mm -hmm. um, because, for one, they're not really have much to eat on the pasture, and also it costs more money. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it costs more money the longer we're feeding them, I think. Right. So I think it's going to end up being a wash more. If we feed them more up front and get them growing faster, we can butcher sooner, plus we're out of pork. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, they raise theirs for eight months. Some of them for And six, they, they dressed a little over 200 pounds, some of them. And we raise ours for 10 to 12 months. And they're dressing And dressing that. about the same. Watch out, Jakey. Hang on, Jack. He's underneath. Okay. All right. Um, we'll link to their video yeah. so y'all can see what we're talking about. Mama, but, yep. um, we're going to go check them. Y'all have seen these pigs probably. Did we do a feeding video last week? 
Yeah, that's yeah. what they've seen. So y'all can see them from last week, yeah. And compare, because I can tell a definite difference. Daddy, Mommy, swing me. Swing you. One, two, three. Woo! One, two, three. Woo! One, two, three. You can tell he comes with One, two, three. <laughs> All right. One more time. That's enough. One, two, three. three. Woo! Okay. Yay! All righty. No more. So we'll yeah. show you. Walk out here and check these piggies. And we think we're having some mango beets sprouting. Unless the frost got them. But I doubt it because they're kind of under these trees. So I doubt it got them all. Yep. Hang on, baby. Yeah, the fire ants are really starting to crop up out here. Even more. Yeah, it's terrible. It to be that time of year. Yep. Way Jakey. So yeah, here they still have some feed. Yesterday. Look at these pigs. Look at their bellies are really full. From last week. Look how much thicker. And she's grown. She has grown a lot. A lot. Great day. Wow, we. That's crazy. So yes, this might be the way to go, babe. Yep. And we know obviously feeding the non-GMO and soy free, they don't bulk up as fast because the you know. Yeah. But um. They're not getting all the. The soy phytoestrogens and stuff from yeah. the soy. Yep. So, but they're really grown. They want to eat just because they walk up. how much smaller she is than her. Yeah, they're litter they mates. Eat, they're litter mates and they they eat. They both have opportunity to eat. They don't fight. She's not food aggressive. Right. To her, she just is a smaller pig. That's okay because we yep. don't need to butcher them both at the same time. Probably. No, it'll be fine. Mm-hmm. But it's just funny. Yeah, it is. Just funny. They're cute pigs. They are cute pigs. We've got to let chickens out and pick up peanut hay and adjust the hitch. So oh yeah, so that's exciting news. We have um, our van is capable of towing, but we didn't have a hitch for it. it. Didn't come with a towing package, and so we were able to go ahead and finally order the hitch. Order a hitch and a wiring kit. We got the hitch put on and we installed the wiring kit. So now we the can trailers go and as a family and get stuff with our trailer, which is awesome because we're having to get my parents to babysit some of the kids and take some of them, and it was you know a lot. Yep. A now lot we can of doing and maneuvering extra time. So now well, we there's at least an hour, at least an hour, probably at least an hour and 15 minutes extra, extra every time. More. Well, and the nice thing is we enjoy doing everything as a family. Right. Like to leave some kids out or... We don't have to pick and choose to. which kids or which turn. We don't have to yeah. keep up with whose turn it is to go, whose turn it is to stay. We just, and we like doing it as a family. We like the kids to experience the whole, everything yep. that we're doing. So. We're, we're, we'll wait on you, Jakey. You're okay. <laughs> are you are you gonna get those chickens out, Jakey? Yeah, we'll let you down. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> you like that, Jacob? Yeah. Who's that one? That's the Lisa. one that I dog. But yeah, she's doing fine, isn't she? She's doing tail feathers, but she's doing fine. Good. Yeah, yeah Jakey, you don't go in with your bare feet, okay? No, let Jack look. We'll hand you eggs. Hang on, let Jack check. I don't think there are any. Jack got the eggs last night. There's one. Oh, all right. Dark egg. Ooh, here. Darker egg. Thank you. It's warm. You're welcome. Is it warm? Yeah. Your daddy. Daddy. Good. Is that an egg? Yeah. All right. All right, he's uh, taking the egg in. All right, well, that we're wraps gonna, up feeding. Yep, we're gonna get uh, ready so we can head out. Yep, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do to adjust this hitch so yep. it fits. The van is shorter oh. than the truck, so. Yep. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go adjust the hitch. All right. <laughs>